Okay, so now I'm going to modify this a little bit. I'm going to show, I'm going to try to do it with one hand, but I just have a piece of printer paper and some tape. And I'm going to tape the light. So basically, the printer paper is sort of just creating a fall off kind of like a shade and you can see it's it's reducing the amount of light that hits the background again I'm going to bring in the fill this is the silver side of the fill but right there again I'm going to grab a still and um, so with that what that little shade has done that I just taped onto the back of the light has just shaped the light a little bit further and modified it. Uh, the other thing we could try to do is, is diffuse that light. Again, depending on what you're photographing. Um, maybe diffusion across the top of that lamp or the, across the top of the light could be something that might make the object appear a little bit better. Um, anyway, so that's that, uh, that's that object. Let's see, I have some other things to put in there. Uh, this is just a radio that I found. So again, it's just a very forgiving and simple light source. You can see again the cast shadow is 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 towards the lens, so it's cast forward slightly because again the light is top and it's slightly back behind the object. Let me just show you again. That's the light straight above and slightly behind. The object and again let me bring in the reflector could be like so I mean that's where you get the lock shot for the reflector but it's adding some it's adding some detail so I'm using the silver side of the reflector you could use tin foil if you wrapped a piece of cardboard with foil. You would be able to just set that right out or right outside of frame and you get an image. This is an old manual pencil sharpener. So again, the, the light sort of has a rimming effect around, especially on the top. Um, let's bring in the reflector to see. It can add some dimension. Maybe it was better on the other side because there is some, yeah, there's some embossed logo. There we go. And the shadow in the background is created by a little um, piece of printer paper that I put on the, again, just to show you above. This could be used uh, with the paper lantern that I used in the last demonstration. Um, any kind of desk light really is, is easy to put in 